I was so tunnel vision that I literally did nothing else. I thought about nothing else. Nobody understood it. Today, today, Sunday, 21st, 2023, baby. Or it's not 2023, 2024. I'm traveling back in time. What can I say? I'm just that good. Um. So the this is the finale for Dorian Yates uh, split, and we're doing legs. Uh, more. We'll we'll, we'll do more. Uh, I was talking to a guy in the the comments right about, and I think this goes for a lot of people, right? You know, if you want to try out this split, I'm more than happy for you. I think you, it's a very solid foundation very solid foundation to see what you build and what you like and what works for you and what's effective right so you know if like um if you know if, you, if you're not a fan of like the whole like chest and biceps thing like i am don't don't include them in the next split right because the split should be you know splits are are very nice they're they, they build a foundation they help you build like your knowledge and stuff but I, personally, I think I think a lot of people need to. Um, it depends on people's goals and it depends on what they want to build and what they want to work and what they what they want to do, right? Like, you know, for me, you know, I want I want bigger arms, which is why in the next video we'll talk more about we'll talk more about the split. I don't know what to name it yet, but it's gonna be a little bit more customary to me and to my needs. Uh, Bro, I wish this would stop moving, but it's gonna be a little bit more customary to me, right? And oh, we're coming up to the stop. I gotta make sure I don't just don't swing. But I want I want bigger arms, right? I want bigger arms, so we're gonna we're gonna try to build bigger arms. This guy this guy's definitely turning. And. Like I said, with Dorian Yates split, you know, I'll, in, I'll, I'll make a couple videos, right? Saying that I train like Mike Mensard, saying I train like Dorian Yates, and I'll, I'll, I'll talk about their, I'll talk about the, it's going to be an actual structured video. It's going to be an actual structured video, a little bit more going key points, kind of like the, the pros and the cons and, you know, all this stuff that I kind of like talk about in these videos, right? It's just going to be a little bit more uh, oriented, you know, a little bit more organized, so... You know with that being said you know today we got legs i'll put it up here like i said in the video about what we're doing um i think what we're gonna do is definitely keep i do every time we've done legs at least the mike menster and the dorian yates split for legs they're they're not too far off i think the only di difference is dorian yates would do standing calf raises and sitting down calf raises right and to be honest, I think that's very nice. I think it, it adds a little bit more um, failure to your calves because, man, we're walking. You're, you're walking on your legs every day. You're walking on your so there's there's more stimulation, more stimulation for your calves, and you'll build bigger calves, right? And so I, I think we're gonna keep the legs the same. And we'll, like I said, we'll talk more about the the ten day split that I have going on for next video. It's just I wanna I wanna focus here and kind of see what. I don't know what people are like grasping and what people are having struggle with, right? Because I, 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 I like to think I have a lot of knowledge, at least for the fitness, you know, in the fitness aspect. I don't want to try to talk out of my ass and try to talk like, oh, you know, you should do this, you should do that, you know. And but I will say one thing for certain is that I think people really underestimate the value of rest. And I was just talking about this to Bryn uh, last time I worked out with him, right? I think people really undervalue it and it gets very easily overlooked that people, you know, pe when people first start, when people first start, they're like, I'm going to go six days, I'm going to go seven days a week, I'm going to go gym, I'm going to go do cardio. And it never ends up like that. It never ends up like that. And I mean, that goes for anything, right? Because you have to slowly kind of ease into it, right? And don't get me wrong, there are some people like David Goggins that can just full throttle and just go ham. I m Most of us, we ain't like that. It's just how it is, right? I'm your average. I'm your average human, right? And I'm trying to just do what I can to do best, right? I think there's a lot of unlocked potential for me that I'm trying to that I'm trying to unlock, right? 
I think that goes for anybody. I think people just want, people get very discouraged when, when they try to go full, full throttle on something and they don't see the results or they, they quit and they don't, they, you know, they lack the motivation, right? And that goes, that goes for me too. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm better in that aspect either, right? Uh, just, I started with these, uh, videos and I, my study habits are a lot better now. They're, they're it's just consistency, consistency, right? So... You know, it's just, I know I went off on a little bit of a tangent from the whole Dorian Yates split, but what I'm saying is just, you gotta be consistent, even if, even if like 30 down, days down the line, you're like, damn, I failed, now I gotta start square one. Nah, you know, I'd win, but yeah, I don't know, it makes me very happy that, like even with these videos, right, I need to get a little bit better on trying to like pass, pass on the question to you guys so that I can you know, re receive engagement, right? Because I, I genuinely, I kind of do enjoy talking to people in the comments to kind of see where everybody's mindset is at, right? It's very nice, very, very nice change of pace. So, you know, like I said, with, with that being said, I don't know if you guys have any, uh, if for any of the new viewers or, you know, that you guys would like to see a split on. I would like to do Tom Platt's split, but oh my God, I need a lot of rest time for that, for sure. Because, uh, and man, <laughs> I remember seeing a video. I remember seeing a video of uh, Lee Priest talking about how when he, when he trained with Tom Platts, he was like, bro, when I trained with Tom Platts, I felt like I was dying. My whole nervous system was just shocked, completely, utter. He was just dead, you know? <laughs> he was like, I'd wake up at night thinking I was having a heart attack after training with Tom Platts. And it's just so funny. It's so funny, right? And like I said, sorry about that side tangent, but going back to what I was saying, it's just, you gotta work, you gotta experiment, and you gotta work out and see what you what works best for you, right? Um, you know, definitely the same principles might, you know, might apply to, you know, I, I, I still, I'm still a big fan of like high intensity over the high volume thing, right? But sometimes people really, really uh, respond to high volume, and I don't know how, like you look at Jay Cutler, uh, I don't think Ronnie Coleman did high volume, but you look at Jay Cutler, Arnold, and you know, they might even get better results from uh, just training high intensity. Who knows, you know, you, they don't know. Um, it's just a matter of like putting everything into perspective and see what, what works well for you, right? So it's just, I, I look at, I did high volume for like the first couple years of my training and it just, I was getting nowhere, but to be honest, I did, more than than the regular high volume i did way more and i don't know I, I look back a lot of my early years of lifting and i'm just like damn this guy's an idiot <laughs> you know i uh definitely I, I look at myself in the past and i i think i think that's nice to kind of be like you know um kind of look at yourself and say uh i wanna i wanna make my last year self look bad you know and i think that's the goal for any it should be the goal for anybody it's just you want to get more intelligent you want to get smarter you want to you want to get more physical physically bigger you know just you want to you want to grow as a person right because if you don't grow as a person you're going to get very depressed you're going to get you alienate yourself you're going to you'll get very very sad you know and i don't want that for anybody i think everybody deserves to be everybody deserves to be really happy and everybody deserves to be you know you know, love somebody, stuff like that, right? Unless you're a pedophile, hey, out of here, kill them, right? But it's just, I think there's a lot to life to to do. And if you don't like try to grow as a person or try to like do what's best for yourself, ah, crap, I should have gone. I should have gone. <laughs> I stopped at a yellow light, but I don't know. I just I know I'm just like talking here and there and my 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 thoughts are kind of everywhere, right? It's just like I said, everything that I talk to the in these videos and stuff, I'm kind of trying to talk to myself cuz there's days where I'm just like panicking and I'm I'm going, you know, scarce mode, you know, and stuff cuz just the other day, you know, I was I'm terrified. I'm terrified that I'm going to fail this EMT exam, right? And there should be no reason I, I, I'm going to fail it. Because last time when I failed, I was very close. And I've been studying. I've been studying my ass off except for the last two days. Except for the last two days. But I've been studying for like weeks on end for hours. 
And I still get scared because when I take some of these online exams, I'm like, oh, ooh, 50%. But then sometimes I get 100%. So I'm just like, oh, oh, you know, I'm, I'm terrified. I'm terrified, you know, but you gotta, you gotta be scared. You gotta be scared, you know, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna shoot for, I don't wanna shoot low. I wanna shoot for the stars, you know. You don't wanna shoot for like, oh, passing, you know. That, that's not what life's about, you know. What, what's life about is like, you want to be you want to be on top you want to be a hundred percent you want to you know so I don't know <laughs> I get I get very anxious and I get very scared but that's not doing me any favors by being anxious and scared I just got to do what I got to do in order to pass and I, I, that, that goes for life you know I just things are gonna take time but if you don't take the time to actually do what you need to do you're not you're never gonna get anywhere you're just oh we're gonna take a left turn here so I don't have to wait but if you don't put in the work, you're not gonna get anywhere. You know, obviously, it's just. I know, I know a lot of people, including myself, were. I think back on so many days, especially lately. I just I look back at myself. Ah, uh, no, the camera's not going straight. <laughs> but I look at myself many days now, and I, uh, I think I'm like. There's so much I want to accomplish this year. And I, 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 at night, you know, I'm alone with my thoughts, scariest thing in the world, right? And I'm like, did I do enough? And the, most of the time it's no. <laughs> most of the time it is nah, you know? It's just, I want, I want to take everything. I want to have the same mindset when I enter the gym in the same mindset when I, when I come out, you know, to the real world. When I'm in the gym, oh man, it is my favorite place. It is my own therapy. I'm here. I'm in the zone. There's nothing that can stop me, right? I'd there'd be ten guys facing me. I'd I'd say nah. I'd win, right? I just nothing can stop me when I'm in the gym. I'm just that focused and I'm that in the zone and I'm just I'm I'm zoned. It's just it's lovely, but. I want that si I want that same feeling <laughs> everywhere else, but I'm not putting in the work, so I have nobody else to blame except me. I have no one else to blame except me. And you know, instead of instead of saying, "Damn, I'm bummed out," I'm gonna say, "Nah, I'd win." With that being said, we're gonna get legs started. See you in a bit.
and we're done for now. Like I said, I'm not gonna record calves because my calves are nothing to be proud of. <laughs> I had to do a re-recording because my the preset for my shutter speed wasn't on, unfortunately. All right, so, ah oh man, it was such a good recording too. Anyway, so like I said, Unfortunately, uh, I did an extra set of Smith Machine squats just because I wasn't I wasn't too happy the way my regular squats went. I only did three reps. I also accidentally I thought I was very cocky. I was very egotistical today. I thought I was gonna be able to hit 315 for six. <laughs> Barely. I, was, I probably could have gotten one. You'll see the failed attempt, but I didn't wanna. I didn't. We're not. We're not aiming for one reps. You know. And again, my my one rep max for a squat is 385. It's just we've been focusing a lot more on time under tension and hypertrophy and trying to muscle build instead of power but we'll get there eventually again it's just it's just gonna take some time uh i had to so that's the one reason i did smith machine squats that and there are some ladies on the leg extension i didn't want to bother them be like how many sets you got left you know be be a fucking meathead but you know i i, I don't know i don't like being the guy who's like how many sets you got left it's just you know, unless somebody's like sitting there for 20 minutes and be like, hey, uh, you, you mind, you know, <laughs> but I don't know. I just, I, I kind of mind my own business. So I had to substitute that and it's whatever. But, uh, the, I was just not a fan of the tempo I did for, uh, for my squats, Le everything else, leg extension, Smith machine squats, hamstring curls, everything. The, it was nice tempo and we're not going to record calves just because my calves are nothing to be proud of. Nothing, nothing record worthy, you know, but, uh, like I said, next, next video, we'll talk about the new split, uh, subscribe, you know, like I said, it, it, I don't know, we're getting, we're, we're at 21 subscribers We're we're going up little by little makes me very happy, grateful, you know, uh, especially the comments, you know, I like interacting with everybody, just building a little community, but. Uh, I think that's it. You guys have a good day. You know, if you guys have any suggestions on what I can do to improve on or make suggestions, I guess I can like speak up, speak about any topics. But I'm just, I don't know. I'm very grateful that it's slowly growing and things gonna, things are gonna take time. So, you guys have a good day. Take care. Bye bye.